Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to a daily, well, it's not really a daily, but an update video um, where I just kind of do random shit and talk about my progression. Um, I kind of haven't shared my progression with you guys in a in a while. Um, haven't really been working on too much. Like there's, there's not too many extremely exciting things going on, but I, I did manage to get my light Shiva a few days ago, or was it last week? It, you know, the days are kind of blending together. Um, I've been working on some things as well, so that, that's why like I've been I've been really really busy lately from the moment I wake to the moment I sleep. Um, but I do keep MSL on, on on the side and I just keep farming. Um, so that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, last I think yesterday uh, or no no the day before um, it was it was 20% off like gem upgrades. So I actually spent about like 10 million gold just upgrading gems and I, I managed to get a lot of, I think mostly siphon gems to, to max. Um, so I, I do now have like a lot of units that are that are like on maxed out siphon sets. And yeah, I've been doing a lot of um, a lot of testing with them and it's 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 been going pretty well. Um, I just kinda wanted to to do some testing today as well, like with some of the units that I gemmed up. And very, very soon I'm gonna be working on um, you know, it is finally dark day. I I was waiting for this day to come around. Um, I'm basically going to be farming some high stones and I'll be six starring these two very very soon Probably by tomorrow. I might have them both max level. I don't I don't know if I farm exp stages I could probably get them max level um, Or if, if I just keep farming gold stages, it might take two days, but you know, I I, um, I maxed out her gems like you, you you saw her gems from the last video she was currently on 99% crit on a crit attack attack pugilist set Um I think it might be better to use this defense gem because she I actually was thinking about this you know if I wanted to put on a pugilist set then there really is no point in going like double attack because she either kills something or she, she dies uh, if she doesn't kill something I'm kind of just like kind of gambling on the stun um, but if I put her with like one slot defense or one slot HP if I gem her like a hybrid or, or a, not like a full glass cannon um, she can do her nuke still do a lot of damage but at the same time like she might she might not be able to always kill everything um in one turn but if she doesn't kill something she can still stun it and then generate a lot of blue souls and that might actually help me win the fight so i was thinking that could also that could also work as well but yeah that's that's something that's coming up very soon um but today i wanted to do a little bit of testing in golems v10 because i actually saw this thing on my friends list and i actually kind of gemmed up my monsters to to uh to kind of complement this um and that's that's this guy i actually don't know his full name it starts with dank um but i i noticed that he had this he had a max out light radis um the skills aren't maxed out but it ha has a perfect leader skill and it has a full siphon set on hp attack attack um doesn't have too much crit but it does have a little bit of hp you know some some hp substats um, this one has a 20% defense substat, and then, and then um, you know, this one's not the best, but it's it's still fine. It's still a six-star attack siphon gen. And after seeing this, I wanted to test something out. I wanted, I wanted to try out like maybe um, I, I have a feeling like the moment I saw this monster. Well, actually, not the moment I saw this monster because the moment I saw this monster, I, I thought it was going to be like this summonable, summon summonable light dark monster, but it turned out to be a rebirth monster. Um, so meaning that you can get multiples of these. So I was thinking of maybe possibly in the future getting multiple light radices and then just running them. So for now, I wanted to do a little bit of testing, basically just put in like a full light team um, using the light radis as the sapper because sappers are very, very good for golem speed 10. And then this way I don't have a light tank, but then he's like light units have extra damage against Stark. So um, he's still going to be doing a lot of damage, like even if he's not built on full glass cannon. And then this kind of only works if you have like four light units because you kind of just need them to like kind of split up the damage. Or you could also go with like three light units and then like one extra sapper to try to kill the boss. But it might be safer with like four light units instead. So I basically, um, you know, I'm going to be putting these guys in and this way everybody is on siphon. My light Nike is on a triple defense siphon. Um, my Coco is also, my Coco is also max skilled and he's on a triple HP siphon. Um, and my Snowy is um, is on a, a HP double attack um, siphon as well. So I think this should be able to do quite a lot of damage to to the uh, to the Golem and to the stages as well. Like I should be able to get my bar up very very soon. Um, 
probably should be able to one shot everything on the first wave but i only have one chance today to test this out so i'm just gonna go in and we'll we'll kind of see how this goes hopefully it works well Man, the light radis looks really cool. Oh man, that was so unlucky. They they all attack different units. That was that was a little bit unlucky. I think I do actually see some potential here. Alright, it took them three turns to clear the first wave. Um, which isn't that bad. But then from here on out, I think everybody should be able to like always get a full bar because they're all on siphon and they're all, all going to be doing their AoE nukes. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely see some potential here. Imagine if you had like three light radis and then someone with an attack lead as well. And that's like also light. Or maybe a crit lead. That could be pretty... That could be pretty useful as well, crit lead. Unfortunately, they're not always able to get their bars full for the boss wave. Um, and the Light Radis will be a lot stronger if he actually does have max skills, because the, the sap would, would land a lot more. But this actually this actually looks pretty good, it's not, it's not too bad. All right, he landed. He landed two two-turn saps. So that's that's actually pretty good. Oh shit! I think I'm in trouble. I think he's in trouble. Definitely need more sappers if I want this to be reliable. But the thing is, I do have a healer with the snowy, um, so I'll be able to to heal a little bit. But his sap isn't is it really isn't too reliable. It doesn't doesn't land that often. Might might have been better if I had like two sappers instead. Um, or maybe just run three light units and then like run a fire purse. That could also work as well. It's a minute fifty-seven for a full light team. I think that's pretty good. That I think that's that's one of the best runs I've gotten in a with a full light team. Um I'm not sure if this strategy is gonna be superior to the light tank three like, you know, sappers built on like full attack. Um, but I think it does have some potential with the light radis, especially if you have like multiple of them. If you have like two or three of them, it might actually, it might actually be worth trying. I was I was thinking, especially if you have a max skill, because the radises, um, if you max their skills, they actually. Wait, let me let me find mine. I think I think they're in inventory. Let me let me just grab one, so we can see his skills. Yeah, if you if you max his skills, his saps get a 10% extra activation rate. So his first skill becomes a 80% sap that lasts for two turns, and then his second skill gets a 5% plus 10%. So this 60% becomes a 75% um, activation rate where he's able to land two two-turn saps. Now it's not as good as the the fire purse where like you know she has like 100%, um, but I think since he's light he can kind of do more damage to the waves so he can you don't need like a specific wave clearer and then if you run multiple of them they can kind of like split up the damage so they're not always getting attacked at the same time and if you have multiple sappers you might not have to worry about you know like one of them getting one shot during the wave by by moonflower like maybe three of them can still you know kill the boss afterwards so i was thinking something like that could possibly work um you know what would be perfect? If I had a variant purse, and then I had the uh, crit lead, and then I just ran her, and then I had her on a siphon set, and then plus the crit lead giving her 100% crit, and then I'd run like three three light radises on crit, attack, um, HP, all with 100% crit, and they, they would all have like reliable damage and always clear the wave. That would, that would actually be pretty amazing. But yeah, I think that that actually was actually was not bad. It was, it was pretty good. Um, it was... It was interesting. It was interesting. Um, yeah, that's. I think. I think. I think that's. Uh, that's pretty much it. The other. Uh, the other thing I wanted to test out is like, you know, like the the Dark Sierra on Pugilist, but I I, I kind of can't really test her out until I max her. So we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna do some summoning. All right, we're gonna, we haven't summoned in a long time. I didn't summon this Heroes Fest, but I do have some light dark eggs and and a legendary egg. Um, 
and hopefully we can get something from them. And yeah, that'll, I think that'll, that'll pretty much be it. I don't I don't have that much progress to show, but I I just thought it would be pretty fun to to do some tests. Something I haven't done in, in quite a long time. Matt, the stupid thing gave me a brawn. You might be able to use one of the, like, if you gem your Zero on, like, HP double attack, it might work for, uh... It, it might work as, like, a wave clear for your Golem Speed 10 team. And then you run Light Radis. And then you run, like... You run, like, two Light Radis. And then you run something with a good leader skill, like something with an attack lead. Maybe your your light Nike, and that could make a pretty good uh pretty good B10 team. I definitely think he's a game changer. He can he can probably bring back, um, bring back the the, the like you know he can kind of maybe change the meta back to like a full light Golem's B10 team instead of a light tank team for for like top. Golden Speed 10 speedruns. Ooh. What? Hmm. Skipping Heroes Fest did did actually did actually help me out. I, I got this uh Wood Shiva. Now, there's not really anything I can do with him, but uh, the good thing is I can save him and then like fuse another light Shiva in the future. That's that's definitely something. But dang, I gotta I got a nat 5 out of some random eggs. That was that was pretty amazing. Alright, let's pop these light dark eggs. Um, I think I used up all my luck, but I think it I think it's it should be fine. As long as it gives me cults. Well at least wolves can be used for, for Shiva fusion, right? You know, if I if I need to make a second light Shiva. Aw, oh, what is this? What is this stupid pen pen? Come on, give me Colts. Alright, I got a Loki. Um, probably don't need Lokis. I have a lot of Dark Wolves. So, like, if in the future um, I need to fuse a second Light Shiva, I can definitely do that using these Wolves. And I summoned another one just now, so that's actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh... I think another thing I can show is my my defense team, like my new light defense team, is actually working pretty well. Um, the, the we kind of refresh, but I I I didn't I don't really PVP that much anymore. Like I kind of just gave up on it. I don't really need that much astrogems since I'm not like summoning during Heroes Fest. But uh, you know, like a full light full light team actually works really well. You know, some of you might be thinking like you know why why did I make my Dark Sierra variant? You know, you might have heard me mention that I, I really hated the, the hair color of the, the Kira after I made her a variant. But I did also say that if I got a perfect lead, um, that I would make her a variant. And they, they gave me, like, a light Sierra with a perfect lead, so I, I kind of had to do it. Because, like, this isn't a useless leader skill. This is actually a useful leader skill. You can actually use this in a lot of places. So I, I decided to actually make her a variant. Although the color looks... Yeah, this, this color is just no. Like, just... It, the the uh, the icon looks really good, but in game looks really bad. That, that that's all I can say. But yeah, I think. Where's my where's my Shiva? I think my full light team is actually working really really well on defense. It counters a lot of like those full dark units. It's going going something like this. Um, I remember. I ran the light wild thing. Yeah, having having an armor breaker actually does help quite a lot. I realized that, you know, when you're setting up a defense, like, you know, like armor breakers actually do 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 quite a lot, especially if you're fighting against a bruiser comp. Um, or I mean like if they're trying to attack you with a bruiser comp and you have 
someone that can like you know put defense down on them because as you can see like the the wall thing managed to put defense down on that miho and then on the second turn they basically all focused her and was able to kill her because of the elemental advantage um and yeah and and she's also relatively tanky she's balance type so like but i gemmed her like full tank so they might they actually might try to um try to focus her and then like notice that she's actually really really tanky and their their efforts are kind of wasted um the shiva's on full hp the the nike's on like um he's on like triple hp life and then she's on like triple defense protection so um the good thing about the good thing about them is they since they're aggressors you know having the triple protection makes her also really really tanky so it's actually very very hard for them to um on the first turn like if they're running like a triple aggressor like triple dark aggressor um bruiser comp against against me then it's very hard for them to kill my nike on first turn since my succubus has a perfect leader skill of 35 percent um hp so it's actually very very hard for them to just come in and, and you know straight out kill my nike on first turn uh, they kind of have to either damage her on the first turn and then try to kill her on the second turn which actually gives me one turn to try to try to do something because um if my wild thing is able to land an armor break on someone during the first turn there's there's a very very high chance that on the second turn i'm going to be able to kill that unit and then it instantly becomes you know at, at least becomes 3v3 and it, it has the potential to become um to become a 4v3 as well if they're not able to kill my coco after they kill my nike on the second turn and if they're running bruisers they might not be able to do that so i was thinking like I think this this defense team actually works really really well, but the the problem is my uh, my succubus has really really low resist, so I'm actually trying to trying to ch change up her gems as well, as well as maybe like um, steal some gems from some other units and like kind of put her on a pugilist set. That would actually make her extremely extremely strong. But yeah, that's I think that's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy about the the Shiva summon because you know I, now I just need two more Shivas and then I'll I'll fuse a second light Shiva and then I'll have like a even more insane defense because in, instead of running that Nike I can hide the Nike and then I can run Succubus two light Shivas and then light Wild Fang and I'll gem the the Wild Fang on like the tankiest set possible um, that I can get and then I'll I'll gem the the Shivas like maybe like if I can like on Pugilist and then like kind of give up a little bit of resist so they they kind of get cheesed a bit um, but if you guys watch my videos, you know, you know my weaknesses and you can, you can kind of crack my defense. The, the way that if you want to beat me, like with the beat that light defense is, um, you, you bring an armor breaker. My, my resist aren't, my resist on a lot of my units aren't maxed. Like this succubus actually has no resist, but it doesn't really matter because she's just so tanky. I just, I just leave her like this and nobody hits her first anyways, because she's very, very low threat. So I kind of just uh, made her HP as high as possible. So if she actually does get a heal off, she does like this this massive heal. I would probably like to put on a pugilist this way. Like she's very very annoying. Um, even if she has no resist, like people if if people hit her first, my other units have threat. Um, but if people don't hit her, then she kind of have has a like a slight chance to stun them and just kind of be annoying. Um, but yeah, a lot of my units don't have max resist. Like my Shiva only has like 48%. My Nike only has 55. Um, my Wild Thing has like 48 as well. Her gems aren't max. Like these, these aren't like the best gems. But I think I think they're pretty good because some of them have like pretty pretty high resist. Uh, decided to put on a Ruin set just because she has like she's a light unit and then like she has like a 40% chance to crit and then if she does crit. The crit damage will give her like you know slightly more damage. Um, it's not, it's not the prettiest thing, like, a, a lot of my really good gems are on some other units, um, like, 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 Sea Star and, uh, what do I run on defense, but other units, Cupid and stuff, I'm not sure if I should run the Cupid, the Cupid could work very well as a, as a leader as well, but I think the Succubus actually is better, because she's also light, so she, she would always focus on the dark unit as well and most of the time the high threat units are dark units like if they're running if they're running a bruiser comp um then sometimes they're running aggressors and their, their aggressors are usually the high threat units uh, if they're running a like a dark nuker comp then their high threat units are like the the uh you know the Tito's, the monas the now there's also 
there was the Maris as well, like for the people that got the Maris. Um, there's the Lats, and then now there's the Dark Sierra. So this, I think having more light units counter those because they always focus on the um, the dark units, which actually makes it makes it much, much better, I think. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.